Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to automate jQuery UI autocomplete in your test automation using Selenium Python WebDriver. This is the testing demo site. On this demo site, we have a web element called autocomplete and this element enables users to quickly find and select from a pre-populated list of values as they type leveraging searching and filtering. So this is the text field. When I type in JA, Java and JavaScript displayed. So in this example, I will accomplish two verifications. One is when I type in JA, Java will be displayed. Second one is that when I click on the Java, the text field will contain the text. Now let's look at the element definition. I right click on this autocomplete element and click on the inspect. So this element is under the iframe. So the whole section is under the iframe. So we need to switch to the frame when using WebDriver. Under this iframe, we can identify this element. This is the input field. This field can be identified using input id equals tags or class equals ui auto complete input. As I type a letter, some elements will display it. Now the ui ul element displayed and we have another element underneath this. So after we type some letter, we can verify the pre-populated list. So now let's look at the script itself. I created a Selenium Python autocomplete unit test.py using Python IDE and use the Python unit test framework. So import unit test. We import unit test module, import time. We can add time.sleep for dynamic synchronization. From Selenium import WebDriver. And from Selenium WebDriver dot common dot action chains import action chains. And class is jQuery UI testes. Under this class, I defined two test messages. One is test auto complete displayed. This test is for verifying that a pre populated list should be displayed when I type in a letter in the text field. The second one is that test auto complete selected. When I click on the displayed item, the text field should contain the text. So now let's look at the implementation. In this setup method, I define a driver instance for Chrome. So self.driver equals webdriver.chrome and self.driver.maximize window. We maximize browser window. And this setup method will run for each test. Now let's look at the first test test auto complete displayed so driver equals self dot driver now navigate to the demo site driver dot get https colon slash slash jquery ui dot com auto complete time dot slip three seconds we define the frame frame equals driver dot find element by tag name iframe 
Now use driver dot switch to frame. We switch to the frame. So the input field equals driver dot find element by xpath. Input ID equals tags. Now time dot slip two seconds. Now input field send key ja. Now time dot slip two. So define auto complete message. So message equals driver dot find element by xpath body slash ul slash li text equals java. Verify that the message is displayed. So self dot assert true message is displayed. So this should be true. This is the first test. Second test, when we click on the displayed message Java, the text input should contain the text. So second one is driver dot get https jQueryUI.com autocomplete. This is to navigate to the demo site. Time.slip 3 seconds and use the iframe. Frame equals driver dot find element by tag name iframe. Now switch to the frame. Driver dot switch to frame. So input field equals driver dot find element by xpath. Input ID equals tags. Now time dot slip two seconds. Now input field send the case ja time dot slip. So now message equals driver dot find element by xpath. And uh, this is a Java method. Message dot click. We click on the displayed message Java or display text Java. So time dot slip. Now input text field equals input field dot get attribute value. And this is how we can get the text in the text input field. Now self dot assert equal input text. This is Java. So on this teardown method, self dot driver dot close and self dot driver dot quit. And this is the unit test framework. So if name equals main, unit test dot main. So we completed the script. Now let's run the script with the command line. And this file name is selenium python autocomplete unit test.py. Now I press enter. Now the browser opened. So autocomplete demo site. Type in ja. First test is completed. Now Java is in the text field. So run two tests in 32 seconds and test result is OK. And some error from the application itself so we can ignore that um, test passed as we see on the demo we also have javascript in the pre-populated text so we can change the test a little bit to verify the other one so on this script we can change the text so instead of verifying Java, we can verify Java script. So we copy that. And this message is displayed. So for the second one, instead of verifying Java, we can verify Java script. And then the text input field should contain the JavaScript text. Now I save it. And I use the command line, run the test again. 
So let me clear the console and execute Python Selenium Python autocomplete unit test.py. Press enter. Now site opened, maximized. And JavaScript displayed. First one is done. The second one is to click on the JavaScript text. So JavaScript is in the input field. Now the test is done. So run two tests in 30 seconds and test result is OK. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can use Selenium Python WebDriver to automate jQuery UI autocomplete object. You can verify message using message is displayed in assertion. And you can also verify the text field value using get attribute value method. If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial, you can always visit seleniummaster.com website for the instructional article or you can always send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.